Yo, what is good, man? It's your guy Tico, and I am back with NBA 2K22 updates today, guys. And we have a special treat. I've been working on this for quite some time to get it out to Switch players, to get it out to PlayStation 4 players and the Xbox One players right now. It is called the Attention to Detail Pack. And as you guys know, we had patch 1.12 and we had a lot of face scans hit without the proper headbands and accessories to literally hit the players the correct way. So with that being said, guys, what I did is went in and I added every headband and every accessory fix to each player that needed to be fixed so you can download the player DNA. And the player DNA will be live by the time this video actually drops so i have all the information down in the comment section below and in the description below so you guys can literally go get what you need and you can enjoy the headbands and just put this into your nba 2k 22 experience for the last gen consoles i wanted to go over the players that were actually updated in pack one i'm going to continue to drop packs over time and you guys will get to go and download the dna and do exactly what you want to do with the actual player so let's go ahead and go over a list right now and let's just just see who was updated this is the list of the attention to detail pack one with the headbands it's going to be jose alvarado which has a face scan from the patch 1.12 i added a headband and i updated his accessories to like they are in real life we have jimmy butler which was a workaround i made a video about that and if you guys missed that go ahead and look in the actual little corner thingy and you'll be able to see when you click you see that video so go watch that video when you're done we have Brandon Boston, got a face scan, I added a headband, an accessory update happened to him as well. We have Devin Kennedy, Devin Kennedy got a face scan, added him a headband, an accessory update. And then we have Melvin Frazier. Now Melvin Frazier has always been in the game, but I really did go in and fix Melvin Frazier to the way he needs to be fixed. We do have bonus players as well. We did get Tail Maladon. So Tail played for the Thunder and I went in and did an accessory update to Tao. We have Tao, we have Jason Tatum, which is a Mamba mentality guy. I updated him to his latest look. I did do sneakers uh, with the Kobe edition Jordans, but you cannot upload sneakers to the actual server for 2K. So basically what I gotta do with that situation is that I have to just make a tutorial where you guys can look at the tutorial and you can actually make them yourselves to the right colorways and textures you know how that is actually made in real life so and also i updated romeo langford now we all know romeo langford had a issue with the headband it was missing but on the next gen new gen or current gen whatever you want to call it consoles i actually fixed it and just updated his attention to detail so he's in the headband update as well all right guys so basically what we're going to do right now is go to nba 2k 22 and we're going to go and look at each person that was updated and i'll break down each situation and each player that you need to see and you can go download the dna so you can add them to your nba 2k 22 experience now let's get into it right now all right guys so we have jose alvarado attention to detail headband pack if you click in and we go to edit player this is player dna so this is what you're going to download is dna as you see, he has the headband on his head with every single accessory updated to what's in real life. So this is what you're dealing with right here, Jose Alvarado. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy these, man. I did do them for the Nintendo Switch. They are finished. I did do them for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I don't have a PC, so they're not done there. But this is Jose Alvarado, as you can see him. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, signatures you can get him in moving motion to see exactly what he's moving like to see exactly how things are and how he looks in game and how this crosses over in game to you when you're playing on the court so he's done he's checked off the list headband pack he's there let's get it let's go to the next player right now the second player we're going to cover is brandon boston jr now at first brandon boston jr literally had like his hair and it was kind of glitchy looking with like clippy looking but as you can see i did add a furry band to brandon boston jr's hair and as you can see he's there he's ready to go looks just like him if you go to shoes and gear you can see the attention to detail update on him as well the tattoos were added in patch 1.12 and he's looking up to par and up to speed. We're in the Nike Air Zoom BB NXTs. Correct, this is the way we wanted it to be. So we're good to go. We him there like swimwear, right? Yeah. But let's go ahead and look at the Siggies and see how it crosses over. Now we have him in the signatures. You see how he crosses over into the game. His hair is moving. The dynamic hair update was applied to Brandon Boston Jr. as well. So he's good to go, guys. And let's go to the next player I updated with the headband update. As you can see, my guy Jimmy Butler, attention to detail headband pack. And here's Jimmy Butler with a fury band around his head. Now before, the original version of Jimmy Butler didn't have anything on his head. And I tried using the actual headband glitch in the creative player. 
uh, sweet, but it didn't work. So I had to go and use one of uh, our guy Sesho's workaround. So basically what we did is just went into the player DNA, but went to the draft class first to export that and then add him through the creative player. But this is the workaround. And the only thing that sucks is his age doesn't really change. He stays young, even though it says that he is his age now. And he has Air Jordans and then Jordan Diamond High. So those are the only things that's not right. He wears the leading wing shoe, but there's no way you can get that shoe on him until 2K actually drops a patch that can get the official fix. But this is him updated in the headband pack. He's there. He's good to go. So let's go back to signatures and look at him and moving and how it crosses over to the court. Here we go right here. He's moving, and this is how this crosses over into the game, so you can actually see what he looks like. I will be collabing with Shady Mike Gaming, and we have some stuff coming where I'm gonna do attention to detail. He's gonna put his jump shots together, and we're gonna come up with like a nasty situation for you guys to be enjoying the game, bro. So stay tuned for that. The next player is Devin Kennedy. Uh, he plays for the Magic, and I did have to go in and edit and fix some things with him. He has a Fury Band in real life, and he's actually rocking that right now with my fix. So if we go to Shoes and Gear, you can see he's attention to detail updated with all his accessories, the Puma Court Rider sneakers, and this looks really good with the shorter shorts. And this looks good and crosses over really well in the gameplay portion of the game for all the uh, Gen 4 players in 2K22 from patch 1.12, man, and this looks dope. His hair is moving too, so dynamic hair updates is added for this guy too as well, guys. So make sure you go download this player DNA pack as soon as possible if you want realism. All right, let's go to the next player. This is somebody that didn't have an update, but I want to go in and make Melvin Frazier Jr. look correct. And let's go ahead and go to editing player and check him out. And as you can see, he does have the furry band on his head. And this is what he's really hooping in in real life. So if you go to shoes and gear, he does rock the Jays. He has short shorts and he has the uh, actual leg situation popping, man. So this is it right here. This looks really good. And I am really enjoying the game and playing the game with like attention to detail updates. Now, let's go ahead and see how this crosses over in the signatures. Let's go to Signy's real quick right here. Siggy Siggy, jump shot 40, as you can see. It looks super dope with the short shorts. Now, it is kind of clipping a little bit but it doesn't do that on the court it's only like within this screen so it's looking pretty good but let's go ahead and go to the next player we have romeo langford which he's always been in the game and his face has always been in the game but for some reason every time we get a patch his headband gets knocked off so i actually go in and fix it we do have a furry band on his head right now i did update him to his spurs attention to detail update right now number 35 kd 14s on his feet he has a sleeve has leg sleeves scrunch socks i mean and the headband is fixing it does look good enough and cosmetically great you know to actually go play the game with instead of him having those dents in his head so hopefully 2k can see this video get a hold of that and actually fix that so yeah we're good to go and this is how it crosses over on the court when you see him it looks pretty dope so go get this dna right now as well let's go to the next player Teo Maldon is a bonus player I wanted to update with the attention to detail pack update. His name is not showing here for some reason. When I upload it to the server, it should work out for me. Where you guys can see it and get the name. But Teo Maldon right here, as you can see, this is him. He did come with the 2K sneakers, but he literally rocks the PG5s with crew socks and short shorts. So I had to go in and fix that for you guys. This is Teo. Finally got a face scan. I haven't even went over these yet. I just dropped the 41 player update video, but I haven't even broke none of this stuff down yet. So be on the lookout and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more face scan breakdowns. And I know we're going to get another patch for 2K before they start working on 2K23. So let's go ahead and look at Teo and see how he crosses over with signatures into the game with gameplay. And look at this guy right here crossing over into the game. This is dope. And I'm going to get some gameplay and show you guys some B-roll as well with these people so as you can see when the video grid gets ready to end and when it gets ready to start you'll see some b uh some b-roll you'll see some b-roll with this guy actually you know doing his thing well you can see him in the game and can kind of get an idea of what he looks like and if you want to go download the dna headband pack and yeah man jason tatum attention to detail finals pack if you go in edit player and they're in the finals right now playing some real good basketball but if you go to shoes and gears you can see i did make the air jordan kobe uh, 36 the Kobe Jason Tatum editions now the purples don't really come through because 2k didn't give us the actual uh, editing options to like edit that part of the sneaker so I just left it like this but these are the Kobe's as you can see he's wearing that that wristband or that wrist tape and for some reason that small band on his forearm won't go by his elbow but he had the 24 but 
this is it the shorts are shorter and this is the updated version of him and he will be in the headband pack as well even though he doesn't have a headband but i wanted to put it there so because of the fact of the matter that this is in the first pack we can get those bonus players and add them to your actual 2k 23 current gen experience so it's, it is what it is right now guys and guys that's gonna do it for nba 2k 22 updates today with the headband pack or the attention to detail headband pack so with that i will be giving away madden beta code so stay tuned i might even drop one in this video you just got to be paying attention and i do have madden content on the way so what you might want to do is subscribe to the channel if you're a madden fan and uh, yeah we're just trying to make the channel better don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button don't cost nothing to do so and also don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when the videos literally drop so you can keep up with me Follow me on Twitter at Tico's Decor to keep up with the latest and greatest updates. I'm giving away Madden Beta codes there as well. And hit the like button. It helps us in the YouTube algorithm a lot to grow the channel. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Go get the DNA pack. It's live right now so you can update your 2K uh, Gen 4. All right, it's your boy Tico. I am out. Peace.